Hello, oh, 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 it's a little bit of lag, it starts, I'm sorry, um, hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Feet the Beast tutorial let's play. Um, I just went to the jungle and found a rubber tree, and I got some rubber saplings, I'm going to need those. Um, because last time, which was actually, I think, quite a while ago, we found this baby over here, skeleton spawner. And I want to start using that, um, but we need some stuff for that first. Uh, there's a few things we need. Let's see. Um, actually, for the skeletons themselves, we don't need that much. Basically, the, the, the things we need most is just glass. We need some of these drawbridges. Or not. What? Oh, there we go. Drawbridge, which is just some um, bronze, redstone, dispenser, and a blank cast, which we can make. Uh, we need some pipes, of course, and energy cables. Uh, we also need a, let's see, an auto spawner. No? What's it called then? Uh. Oh, there. Oh, it needs a bar. An auto spawner. Where is this sticks? Uh, factory machine blocks, which is just stone with plastic sheets. And some emeralds, magma cream. You know, stuff I can get. The problem is the plastic sheets for that. We need raw plastic, and you get raw plastic by smelting rubber bars or rubber. And since I haven't found both neither of these trees, now we got rubber bars, which you can make from raw rubber. Which is why I need the rubber trees. Um, so that's what we got now, and I think that's about all we need. We need some pipes and some redstone stuff. And I think I should... Actually, I'm, I'm gonna make this in the basement, probably. So let's pick this up. Um, yeah, let's go down. Why are we not... Oh, let's walk around here. Oh, crap, stupid block. Oh, come on. Okay, so here we are. And I think I want to go one level lower. Which we still need to dig out a bit, I think. Well, actually, no, it's probably big enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Let's oh, crap. Um, let's pick that up. Kill you. And let's go to the center of the room. Which, I don't know where that exactly is. Anyway, I'm gonna lay some stuff out and work a bit. This will take some work. And then I will be back with the results. So, I will be right back. Okay guys, so welcome back. I haven't done much yet, but I just wanted to show you this. Um, I've been uh, smelting this sand into molten glass. Um, just so I can make this. This is the clear glass. You can only make these in the, these furnace. And these are pretty cool, as you can see, they have connected textures. So, and they only have this edge, they don't have all these like, like bars like normal glass has. Um, let's see, let's use silk touch. Oh, that was quick. Um, so definitely going to use that. Also, I have quite a lot of... Wait, do I have boats? Otherwise I can show you what these uh, drawbridges do. Got one, but that's broken, so let's make one. Uh, let's, I think, also, as soon as I get this below the bar, it should fill a new sand again. As you, as you can see, these are done, like, uh, smelting, but they're just not going in there because it's full. So let's see. Let's, I think that should do it. Maybe one more. And oh, you can see the sand now, huh? Not letting this one smelt. Well, anyway, let's go down and make that drop rich. Let's see. Um, so I should have some of this. Let's see. I think it was like this. Yes, because I need a lot of bronze as well. Let's just do that for now. 
smelt that. Because uh, I need one more. Tinker's aloe ingot. Oh wait, that's bronze. Never mind. I was like, what? Because uh, actually, it, is, it actually says it in the recipe. Got bronze, bronze, bronze. Tinker's aloe ingot. It's a bit weird that it's named that, but okay. Um, so let's do this. I think it's like so. Uh, then we want to put. Oh wait, we want to craft the bow first. There we go. Bow in the center. The tinker's alloy like this. Then we want to have the aluminum brass like that. And the blank cast on top. And I. Oh wait, I need redstone. Now in here, let's grab some redstone. Okay, so some redstone on the bottom. Oh crap! Ah, uh, let's do. Oh crap! I don't have cobble on me. Look at me being well prepared. Jump back in. Um, okay, so what we want to do first is we want to make dispensers. That's it. There we go. Let's just make one since that's all we can. And then we want to put dispenser in the center, not the bow. And yeah, that's it. A drawbridge. So here we go. Now the drawbridge is pretty cool. Let's see, can we make a lever? Of course we can't. Oh wait, we can. There we go. Oh, that's a reminder. Let's put this in there. Uh, a drawbridge is oh, really cool. Let's just put it on top. So basically this is the center. Um, I guess this is the way it goes. Huh. I don't really need to care about that, but... Basically, if we put blocks in here, that's a little bit too much. Let's just put in four, just to be sure. So this is what happens if you flip the lever. Basically, place them in front of them, kind of like a drawbridge. You can actually walk on these. The real blocks are not like just imaginary. Uh, and the cool thing is also you can, of course, like this is this like gold thing. It looks ugly, but however. If you put a block in there, okay, you can do glass. I guess that's understandable. See, it's a really cool block which adds quite a lot of stuff. You can also spam it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't like crash the block. It's really cool. So if you put like multiples of these next to each other, it can look really cool. So that's why I'm gonna use these. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to work and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back a little bit earlier because I, I'll show you what I've done in a second. Um, but, but I want to make something because uh, for a lot of these things, uh, especially this one, uh, we need to make hardened glass. And actually for the other ones, let me show you. Uh, you can just make these with lead, but I prefer to have it open so you can see what's in there. Uh, which also costs hardened glass and hardened glass is basically two obsidian and one lead because you can oh what oh wait, oh, wait that's a world anchor never mind let's get back um, no I want this you can get eight obsidian dust just by pulverizing two obsidian so it's not too difficult to get it's just that obsidian is very annoying to get um, I just mined a lot of obsidian, like, well, not, not a lot, it was like 24, uh, to make these. Let me show you. Just some basic tanks from open blocks. I'm going to show you, show you where I placed them. And that was a pain, so I'm going to make something to get obsidian a lot quicker soon. But first, let me show you what I've done so far. Uh, first of all, I'm also working on my infrastructure, so I can get some stuff there, because I need to get that stuff automated. Uh, so what I got over here is I just put a item duct 
on output you can just use this oh crap now you can turn it off it's input output uh, let's pick up all this coal you can shoot oh it doesn't start pulling out immediately let's put this stuff in there because it was backed up which is normal with this setup because basically what it's doing is gonna put it all the way over here and then in here it's gonna put it into steam dynamo but as soon as they notice it's full there are still a lot of items in the pipe so then they turn back yeah you see they started and then they just like stop uh, back up this uh, item duct which is fine it works it, f it still fills it up so um, the other thing is I started working on these pipes that's why I need more um, because this is gonna go all the way down also gonna put it in a third engine I think maybe even a fourth we'll see um, but this is gonna go all the way down to here uh, this is what I've got so far uh, first of all over here you can see these tanks basically they create one big tank and there's nothing in there yet uh, also what I wanted to do was this output and let's put a lever down there and of course I don't have cobble on me so let's do that and uh, basically what this is going to be, this is going to be the mob essence this is what's gonna keep the... okay it's not gonna hit the piston this is, this is what's gonna keep this thing going because basically uh, this outer spawner, all it needs is one uh, Oh crap, what are they called? Uh, it's my oh is it like Minecraft was loaded something? Let's see if it's in here. Here it is. Yeah, my factory reloaded, that's it. Um so we've got let's see, where are they? Oh no, I saw them. Here we go. A safari net. Uh, you can make them with one gas here for ender pearls, which is very expensive. But I think the safari net single uses uh, work as well, which are a lot cheaper. And I've got some of these already because I found them. And basically, you, you catch some uh, mob in here, you put them in here. You can put exact copy yes or no, uh, because if you put a zombie in there, it, uh, for instance, with a shovel in his head, or no, wait, let's let's say it differently. If you put a villager in there, let's say you put a blacksmith in there. If you do spawn exact copy, no, it will spawn all villagers. If you do yes, it will only spawn blacksmiths. That's basically what it does. So with zombie and uh, zombie villagers, like you can uh, say what you want. If it has to be exact copy, or it can just be zombie in general. Um, then the let's see. All this need is power and mob essence. And mob essence you get from killing people or no, killing mobs. That's why I've got a... What? He's got gold armor? That must be like some sort of rendering glitch or... I don't know. Anyway, uh, because they sure don't all spawn with armor. Uh, but these, actually, uh, if I turn this lever, it will uh, pull up the redstone uh, block and shut off the lights as well. And now the skeleton uh, farm is working. It's not killing them yet, um, but those are what's going to give this like machine thingy all his mob essence, so it can spawn other mobs. So we'll probably have to run these for a while before I can start running other mobs. Um, but before we can do that, I have to set up the killing mechanism, which isn't done yet. So let's keep that. Don't have torches, okay? And this other uh, lever over here. Let's just kill these skeletons. Yeah, they're, they're a one-hit kill for me, so it's pretty nice. Um, so let's li let's hit this. As you can see, it's just gonna go go open up the entire corner, which I think is pretty cool. Still need to finish this. There we go. Let's, let's put that down so I can see where to put it. Okay, here we go. Uh, so basically, if you in get this. This is basically how it's gonna look when it's open, so you can walk in there. Uh, also, I've put these conveyor belts, you've probably seen them by now. 
and these are pretty easy to craft I can actually show you if we go back up uh, over here uh, it's just let's see there we go it is just some rubber bars which you get from those rubber uh, trees I showed you and redstone and iron and you get 16 of them so they're pretty cheap kind of a bit too cheap uh, at my taste but that's okay so what we're going to do now is I should get somewhere close to a crafting table because I want to get myself some obsidian uh, by the way this episode is probably up on Friday I know I should have uploaded an episode on Wednesday but I just I didn't manage to get this one finished in time because I was supposed to upload this on Wednesday um, I always try to if you don't know if you're a new subscriber because actually by now you might have 200 subscribers because like on this is tonight today is Wednesday and I was up at a hundred and ninety eight so we might have 200 by now possibly if I do thank you um, but I'm getting distracted again <sighs> crap uh, I have no idea what I was saying now let's make another diamond pickaxe I know I've got this one this one is damaged so that won't do um, but what we're going to make is there we go oh I know what I was talking about if you're new to my channel uh, I try to upload three times a week and that's on Monday Wednesday and Friday if I upload on any other day it's usually a Dutch video so it's kind of like an extra um, so here we go we're gonna make a computer then we're going to upgrade that to a turtle and upgrade that to a mining turtle oh yeah okay now let's place this down close to the coal so we can fuel this baby up uh, beware you don't want to like refuel it completely right away first you want to have uh, you want to set the label so let's make sure that if you break it it won't lose all its fuel so we're gonna go in here let it load okay so label set uh... Hmm, what should we call him uh, let's see Hmm. I'm always bad with names. I never can. I can never come up with anything good. Uh, I have no idea clue. Let's just call him. Uh, stupid. One. I have no idea. I'm so bad with names. It sucks. Okay. Um. Let's see. Now. Now it's got a label. So now if we break it, it should say, stupid one, there you go. So now if you break it, it won't lose any of its stats, which is very good. So now, we can grab some coal, which we've got plenty by now. That should be enough. I'm just going to place it all in there. It's got a little tiny inventory of its own. And then you're going to just hit refuel all. If we don't do the all, it will only check for the first inventory slot. So here we go. Okay. Uh, basically, if you type in program... Uh, by the way, you can program a lot of stuff in these computers. I am not good at this. Uh, I just know the basic uh, commands and stuff. So let's go to programs. Because here you can see everything is got. It's got like alias, copy, excavate, uh, lua, paste bin, red pulls, and it a lot of stuff anyway I have no idea what half of this does I mean I, I know reboot I know label and I know edit and that's about it uh, and also tunnel excavate and oh that's about it move I actually I, th I could do move I think I forgot it by now uh, but what we're going to use this for let's break it again since it should have a lot of fuel now let's go let's see oh, up here Let's go back down to that lava lake. But let's get a bucket of water first. Look at me being prepared and all that shit. Oh wait, no, we only need a bucket because I think I left my water down there from mining last time. Uh, buckets are in here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so by the way, since I... I'm gonna put this in the video of course uh, this probably will be getting finished next episode let's 
Let's go in here. Come on, go. Okay, so down here there's lava. And the nice thing about a mining turtle is, is it can mine anything. Except for bedrock, of course. Since it's got a diamond pickaxe. And the other good thing is... Uh, oh crap, I forgot to place a portal on top. Or did I? Well, I could have used that. That's stupid. Okay, anyway. Um, basically, the idea here is that... Yeah, that'll do. Uh, this one also, when it mines something... Let's see. Um, does this work? Ah. Um, break. Oh. I think that's not how you spell it. Okay, it doesn't know those programs. Oh wait, do I have to like go into Lua first? Lua break. Aw. Uh mine. Mine front. I, I, I know this Ah. Um Break front maybe? Or something like that. What else can you say? Mine break. Uh, huh? Who cares? Because um, basically, I only use this for the two basic commands. The first one is tunnel. Let me show you that. Let's just go tunnel two. Oh, I should go out of Lua. Let's do, oh crap! Um, let's go exit. Oh, crap! Exit. Move with those. There you go. Uh, so now we want to go tunnel. Two. two is basically how long you want to make the tunnel. As you can see, it starts digging. But most of it was cleared out anyway. So it, dig a d it dug a tunnel of these two blocks. And it's basically digging a tunnel of three wide and two height, which is pretty useful. Uh, the only thing with this is when his inventory gets full, you will just spit out the items at uh, the back of his. Uh, that's this little uh, chest symbol. He basically just spits it out. So you want to be careful. You don't want to like have him tunnel a hundred blocks unless you just want to make a tunnel, because the items he will break, they will despawn. Uh, also, if he gets in a unloaded chunk, he will no longer work, and you will have to restart the program. Um, actually, chunk loaders will keep him loaded, of course, as well. The other one is excavate. So let's go excavate. Let's go three. Uh, basically, excavate will mine to bedrock, uh, and then the number is how big of a hole. So this is going to be a three. Did I type it wrong? Uh oh, I did excavate. Excavate three. There we go. As you can see, since he didn't could break the lava, but he like moved into it. So basically, since he is a block, every time he stops moving, he just uh, basically uh, destroyed the lava. Let's do this. So he doesn't get any problem. Otherwise we can't find him back. Oh crap, it's dark in here. Oh wait, I almost I totally forgot about this. There we go. Come on, place it. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, the the nice thing about this is that actually when his inventory is full he will go back up and where you started. So if I put place a chest right there, he would actually dump all his stuff into that chest which is very useful so you won't lose any items uh, then the last or uh, wait no those are, those are actually basically the two uh, programs in uh, mining commands or mining programs I guess uh, you could make your own but you have to learn Lua basically That's, which is a programming language if you didn't know um, let's, uh, let's go back up uh, so what I want to use this thing for is just place it like there. Let's place some water here. Um, let's actually break this, even though it takes a, a while. Okay, come on. There we go. Uh, wait, actually, no, that's not even gonna work. Never mind. So let's just place our little turtle over here. Uh, by the way, uh, breaking blocks doesn't cost any energy for this thing. Uh, let's see. I just type fuel. Let's just do a refuel then, so it shows us how much it's got. 
um, it's just that moving around that's what costs energy so if you j if you can you can actually use a turtle uh, with a sword for farming because a turtle is basically an empty so the they will also drop XP that way and since it doesn't move it doesn't cost any energy at all which is a bit OP but let's go tunnel 4 let's see this is what I was afraid of stupid water it's not cooperating Yeah, it's not working that great. I know how to fix this though. I think it stopped. Did it? Because lava shouldn't destroy it. Let's wait till the lava's gone. Oh, there we go. So it's done. It mined four blocks and it actually says now if it opens again. It's a bit laggy at the moment. Come on. I clicked it. Okay, I think I'm gonna get. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're back. The server actually just like kicked me out. Um, oh crap! Now, okay, it used to say uh, this tur or mined so many blocks in total, which in this case would be 17. As you can see, it's a really quick way to get obsidian because he mines it instantly, which is very handy. Um, but I remembered now how I used to do this. Let's see, no lava around because I definitely don't want to lose the turtle. It's basically three diamonds which you would throw away. So let's go over here. Dump a water block right there. And then basically we're going to place it right next to that water block. Okay guys. Ooh, hit the plus. Ooh, got interrupted again there. Let's go with excavate. Let's go with four. So now, as you can see this way, the lava can actually flow into it, or the water. Uh, so it shouldn't ruin anything. Yeah, there we go. It's mining a lot of obsidian now. Yep, this is working perfect. Um, but yeah, I thought I didn't have much to talk about, and all of a sudden, there's like four subjects. <coughs> Uh, so I've got almost 200 subscribers, which of course I'm very happy with. It's it's not like a giant number. I can't make any mo well. I can make a little bit of money, but it's basically nothing. Um, but you know, it's it's still like imagine 200 people in front of you, and they're all watching you game. That's pretty weird. Of course, not all my episodes are watched 200. Actually, one third of my uh, views is from just one video. Which is a bit crazy, but I'm fine with it. Um, but yeah, so there's that, and I'm also playing Agrarian Skies now, which is a fun map. It's really like one of those maps I, I enjoy myself. Um, because basically it gives you like goals and rewards for what you do, and it gives you a clear order what to do. So you don't have to like come up with stuff yourself. It actually tells you what to do, which I personally, I enjoy that. Let's mine this with silk touch. So we can fortune it. Oh, I should have fortune it just. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a real fun map. If you want, you can try it out. It's just in Defeat the Beast Launcher. Okay, so the lava's gone now. Let's just mine this little machine. Which is a bit tough since it's moving around all the time. And look at that, we got over a stack of obsidian, which should be enough for a long time. Um, but yeah, uh, so probably I might actually upload this on Wednesday, so this is probably going to be up today. Probably no 200 viewers or uh, subscribers yet, since I was kind of expecting this to be uploaded on Friday. But then this came along, this little turtle, uh, which uh, got my uh, time up to 30 minutes without like costing me the rest of the night to finish it, because this would take me a long time still to finish. So uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here, probably at about uh, 30 minutes now. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, render it and upload it quickly enough. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys probably Friday then with an Agrarian Skies. And then on Monday a new Let's Play. So see you guys next time. Bye bye.